Now to the race against time and the efforts to find survivors after that catastrophic earthquake devastated Turkey and Syria. The death toll is still climbing, now topping 11,000. Marcus Moore is live again on the scene in Turkey with the very latest, including the stories of some miraculous rescues. Good morning, Marcus. Well, Robin, good morning. We have been witnessing an urgent effort this morning here in Gaziantep to find people who may be trapped in the rubble. You can see the rescuers in the distance behind us. Uh, they say that they know an 11-year-old boy is there and that three times this morning they have heard a voice or voices coming from the rubble. And this is just one effort among many across this region to try to save lives. This morning, a race against time and freezing temperatures as search teams work around the clock to find survivors in the rubble. This video capturing the dramatic moment, the white helmets, a rescue team in Syria, pulled an entire family from the debris. The crowd erupting in joy and relief. And this infant found by residents who heard her cries 40 hours after the earthquake. Her mother tragically passing, but first giving birth while buried under the rubble of a five-story apartment building. The baby now doing well and in the hospital. Hey. And rescuers giving water to this toddler, a Syrian refugee now safe after being trapped for nearly 45 hours. Miraculous moments as the death toll from the catastrophic earthquake that hit Syria and Turkey now tops 11,000 and the World Health Organization estimating the toll could reach nearly 20,000. This young girl welcomed out of the rubble to applause after being trapped for over 45 hours in Turkey. Her relatives overcome with relief, kissing her as she is carried to an ambulance. In Turkey alone, more than 8,000 people have been rescued. In Gaziantep, near the Syrian border, we met families who for days have been waiting for news of their loved ones as searchers dig through debris nearby. Hatija Yanner told us her 18-year-old cousin Adnan lived in this building. It's so cold. It's so cold. It's raining. It's so difficult. So difficult. Like so many, they too are hoping for a miracle. A critical window for survival is narrowing with potentially thousands more trapped. President Erdogan saying 70 countries from around the globe are offering aid including two USAID teams of elite rescue workers currently en route with roughly 170,000 pounds of specialized tools and equipment. We met Gulazar Palija bringing warm soup and water to rescue crews. We want to help people. Um, uh, we very sad. Uh, everybody. While sending aid to war-torn Syria proving to be more of a challenge. This drone video showing a horrific scene there. Multiple high-rise buildings reduced to rubble. Entire neighborhoods ripped to pieces. So we have watched the efforts here in the urban areas uh, continue to unfold, but the United Nations says many roads that lead to the rural areas were destroyed, and that has impacted the rescue operations there as well as uh, making it difficult to get aid to those affected areas. Rebecca. Such a tragedy, and we are praying for those miracles. Marcus Moore, thank you for being on the scene for us today and throughout this story. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.